Now, first warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, we got uh, quite a bit of snow on the ground at this point, don't we? Yeah, I would imagine the kids had some fun, you know, oh, over yeah. the weekend playing in the snow. Yeah. That, that, it hasn't happened a lot this year. You no, know? not at all. No. So that's kind of cool. I like some of the pictures we had on uh, NBC5 here over the weekend. Not only of, uh, you know, people out playing a little bit, but the snowmen and stuff like that. That was kind of cool. Hey, uh, pick your spot, take a look. We've got temperatures all over the place as we continue to kind of uh, e expand the information on our weather maps around here. Like Whiteface Mountain right now, 15. In Plattsburgh, 25. Stowe right now at 19 degrees. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit chilly out there tonight. Meanwhile, we do have some 20s as you come on down to the south, even 30s, 32 Lebanon, 32 degrees in Springfield right now. All right, next 12 hours, temperatures going down. It's going to be a chilly one, not only tonight into the beginning of tomorrow, until we go back into the 20s during the day tomorrow. So storm tracker, not super busy today, although we have had some action during the afternoon uh, down toward Bennington and then point south from there. That's where we're finding some of the snow now, but not expecting much action tonight. But by tomorrow afternoon, we've got a system that is off to the west that'll come our way. A little bit of a, an impulse, so expect some snow showers, especially in the Adirondacks tomorrow afternoon and then for the rest of us as we get into evening. In fact, we could time it out here. This is Futurecast, 7 o'clock tonight, not much going on. In fact, the clouds kind of thinning from time to time, not real thick clouds right now over the Champlain Valley. First thing tomorrow, maybe a little bit of sunshine, especially on down to the south. But as I kind of pop you into later in the afternoon, this is five o'clock. While we could see just a couple of snow showers in northern Vermont, I think most of the action will be in the Adirondacks during the afternoon until evening time. And then during the evening and the overnight, I think we'll find some snow showers around. Now keep in mind, certainly most of this action over the next few days, because we're going to see on again, off again snow is going to be in the mountains. And here's a good example. This is Wednesday. We've got a little bit of snow on here, especially down south of Rutland, but watch the mountains to the north as the day progresses. We have a change in the wind direction and look at the snow that's still, I don't know about piling up, but still adding up in the northern Green Mountains and also the northern Adirondacks. So figure through Wednesday, I think a lot of the ski areas looking at at least another three to six inches of snow down to the south, maybe a little bit more than that. Jay Peak looks like uh, maybe okay out of this. Partly to mostly cloudy at times tonight, 12 right in the Champlain Valley. A lot of teens on the weather map. And then for tomorrow, best chances for afternoon snow showers We'll be in northern New York, 27. That is Saranac Lake, 24 Malone. We'll call it mid-20s in Plattsburgh. And then 27 degrees Burlington as you come on off anywhere to the east from there. I don't think it's likely we see much in the way of snow showers until tomorrow evening. Then down to the south, best chances for a little bit of sunshine in the morning. And then increasing clouds, 29 Ludlow, 27 Stratton. We've got some snow for you guys, especially later in the day. All right, 27 degrees tomorrow. 23 degrees, some snow showers on Wednesday. Better chance for a little bit of light snow even on Thursday, 28 after a cold start. So still snow showers Friday. Right now, the weekend, you know, not looking bad, although it's going to be cold. 22 to just 17, second half of the weekend. Monday looks okay with snow showers coming back on Tuesday.